When our founders, who were mainly Protestants at the time, back in the late 18th century, took a look at what they wanted to protect in the First Amendment, they had two categories. One was rights of conscience, which is something that any Protestant Christian will immediately understand what that means. The other was free exercise of religion. And these Protestant founders chose the latter. They did not choose to protect rights of conscience. They chose to protect free exercise of religion. Why? In part because they wanted to protect religious communities. Conscience is an individual thing, but religion in public life, which is what they really wanted to protect, involves communities of, of, of religious action, conduct, as well as belief. They did that because they believed that all religions, not just Christianity, should be encouraged to contribute to our understandings of what the common good is, how that should be reflected in our laws and public policies. In short, they wanted a virtuous citizenry, and while they understood that virtue comes from things other than religion, it also comes from religion. So they wanted to include it in our public life, and that's why we have the First Amendment. So yes, religious communities are very important.